taken a, a train from Flam up to Murdal through the mountains and then from Murdal we changed and took the Oslo bound train um, over the Hardanger Vida Plateau um, and we've got off at Haugastol and from here on um, it's just a, a track all the way back to Flam so it should be uh, uh, traffic free and a spectacular wilderness ride. So the weather is, is cloudy at the moment but it's warm and the forecast is to be dry and sunny later and dry and sunny tomorrow. So we're going to do it, this in two stages. It's 50 miles back to Flam and the first stage we're just going to ride uh, 17, 18 miles to Finse and that's a, a station en route and there's a bunkhouse there we can stay in. And then the next day we're going to ride the 38 miles down to Flam. Really, really looking forward to this ride. This is going to be, I think this is going to be pretty special. Um, being in the wilderness, in a traffic free environment, it's going to be fantastic. And um, yeah, can't wait to get going. We've arrived at Finse now and um, the day's ride has come to an end. What an absolutely beautiful end to this ride. Um, and there we can see the Hardanger Yokul and Glacier. We're well and truly on the um, Hardanger Vida Plateau now, which is the largest mountain plateau of its kind in Europe. It's absolutely amazing. Good morning and welcome to the second day of our trip, our bike trip along the Rallavegan. So um, we had a great night in the hut last night, um, I had a free course dinner, uh, bog standard mountain food uh, filled us up and a great breakfast this morning as much as we could eat um, and we could take as much food with us as we wanted so we've taken some uh, sandwiches for lunch. Um, got a beautiful beautiful day in prospect today <laughs> this weather's fantastic um we're off-road completely traffic free in the wilderness we've got another um, 52 53k to do about 40 30 odd miles and some ascent about 400 meters of ascent but we've got a massive descent of 1350 meters down to sea level at um, flam um, so we're going to be passing mountains, lakes, waterfalls, rivers. It's going to be spectacular. Really looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going. <laughs> You lasted two seconds. <laughs> We're coming to the uh, highest point of the route at the moment. That's why we're passing through all these snow banks. And uh, down in the lake there, there's 
ice flows and little icebergs that have come off the glacier. And here we are, highest point of the uh, route. Orgstepunkt. Orgstepunkt, is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> so this is the highest point on the Rallo Vegan. And it's 1,343 meters above. above sea level, which is the exact height of Ben Nevis, the highest point on mainland Britain. What? What do you think of it so far, Phil? Uh, I can't say awesome again. Um, better than that. Absolutely <laughs> fantastically sp it's, splendid. It's better than awesome. My <laughs> God. Unbelievable. We that. Need a new word. Just over halfway. Uh, we've got 46 kilometres to here, so we're definitely on the way downhill now. This is unbelievable. Stopped at this fantastic waterfall that's poured into this yet another spectacular lake. It's so so beautiful. It's got to be one of the best rides I've ever done. To be totally off road, traffic free, stress free, taking your time it is absolutely amazing. We're indulging in a bit of mountain games. I'm taking Phil on at pebble skimming. Oh. I don't believe <laughs> that. That one. That was a stone. That was what six or seven, but it's the distance on that. Ten. Ten. Right. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> this is war. <laughs> Come on. So the newcomer has set down the challenge. Come on. Come on. For the pride of Yorkshire. Here he is. Andy the Stone Spink. One, two, three, four, oh, five. What a beauty. What a beauty that well, was. Look at the distance, the leap from the water, the bounce, the skim, the leap, the bounce, the distance. It's all there. Do you know what Andy? That was adequate. <laughs> What he ain't got on film is the first stone I threw. Yeah, we missed that one. What about 20? Yeah. I think we can say that was a draw. You can say that if you want, Andy. <laughs> It's just waterfall after waterfall. It's unbelievable. Look at that. Absolutely amazing.
as if this ride can't get any better. It's just unbelievable. Look at that. We've reached the zip line at uh, near Myrdal station now and we're heading down there now. A very steep descent down these uh, this windy road and we're heading all the way down to Flam now. I've got about 20k to go so just continue this amazing descent all the way down to Flam. What a joy this ride is, it is just phenomenal. So we're now 71 kilometers into the ride. We've probably got about 12, 10, 12, 13 left to do. Absolutely beautiful, sensational waterfalls all the way down this steep side of valley. And just look at that river and that waterfall behind us. It's unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. What a spectacular ride. So you just don't want it to end. I do not want to get back to flam and finish this ride. I just want to stay here on this ride forever. So, so good. Um, let's crack on out. <laughs> let's see what else is around the next corner. Bloody waterfalls everywhere. I'll tell you something right, these, these Norwegians, they just, they just don't know how to get a landscape right. I mean, look at that. It's a waterfall plunging off a vertiginous cliff with about a hundred metre drop straight to the valley floor. That's not a waterfall. That's a puddle where we come from. chuffed to bits about that ride. What, what do you think, Bill? That was the most remarkable ride I think I've ever done. The views, the weather. Yeah. The quietness. Yeah. Being off-road, no cars. Yeah. Just coming down that last bit, fast ascent, a little bit technical, mm -hmm. people falling off around us. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, it was spectacular. I think it's for me it's the fact that you just knew you just knew there was not going to be no traffic disturbing you and it was we're high up in the middle of the mountains yeah it's like you don't normally get that unless unless you go trekking and climbing mountains but to be able to ride through 
mountain scenery like that is just phenomenal. So yeah, we're absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Um, yeah, I recommend it. Yeah, tomorrow we've got, we're gonna drive to Dragsvik, uh, but we're gonna stop off at uh, a place called Good Vangen. And there's, it's just the next fjord along, along here, due west of us. And it's spectacular. We, we caught a glimpse of it on his way down here. So we thought we we're gonna go back and visit it. So anyway, that's what we're gonna to do tomorrow. Not so, too early. No. So that's it. That's the update. <laughs> See you tomorrow.